Welcome to McMaster University, located in Hamilton, Ontario. We are excited to show you around the Faculty of Engineering's amazing campus, home to our BTEC, Computer Science, Engineering and iBiomed programs, making up our Fireball family. Let's go explore what we love about being part of the MacEng community. This is the Gerald Hatch Center. Come on in. Here we have the Gerald Hatch Center for Engineering Experiential Learning. Hatch was built by students for students. This space serves as a hub for several engineering teams, clubs, societies, student support services, and has collaborative workspaces. As you enter Hatch, the drain is where students can purchase faculty branded merchandise, tickets for various events, and more. You will also find a lounge space for students to socialize and connect over projects and space in the corridor to do some work as well. On the second floor, you will find a variety of study spaces, the Junction Lounge Space and the McMaster Engineering Society office. On the third floor, our academic advising and engineering COPE and career services teams are available to support students with academic advising through course selection, assistance with co-ops, and career guidance. COPE with the Faculty of Engineering programs is available to anyone. COPE is mandatory for BTEC students, but optional for comp sci, engineering, and iBiomed. A minimum of 12 months of COPE experience is required to count co-op towards your degree, but you have the flexibility to complete those 12 months when it makes sense for you, including four, eight, 12, 16 month placements anytime before you graduate. The Engineering COPE and Career Services team supports you through resume building, interview practice, career support, hosting various employer events throughout the year, and so much more. Speaking of potential co-ops, did you know that employers are interested in academic accomplishments, but are also looking for hands-on work, collaboration, and leadership experiences that you've been a part of? Let me show you another great student space in this building. This is our Hatch Workshop and Build Space. It's a space for Mac and students to participate in experiential learning through extracurricular activities such as personal projects, capstones, or with their clubs and teams which will assist in further developing their technical and professional skills. There's over 70 Mac and specific clubs and teams available to students and no experience is required to get involved in technical and non-technical student groups throughout your time at Mac and. Some of our teams such as the Baja Racing, the Seismic Design Team, Mars Rover, and the Concrete Toboggan Team use this space to work on their designs and collaboratively build their projects. They even go on to competitions. Welcome to the Arthur N. Bournes Building. This building hosts tons of different spaces, including lecture halls, tutorial rooms, design studios, and labs. Let's go check it out. A lecture is a formal presentation conducted by your lecturer on the content of the course, and you can find yourself in a lecture hall, similar to this one, or they could be in larger or smaller sizes, depending on the course. Additionally, tutorials are smaller classes outside of your lecture which allow discussion of lecture content and assignments, while labs take your in-class learning and integrate them into hands-on learning opportunities. In the Faculty of Engineering, we have a large focus on experiential learning and our ABB Innovation Tower was built with this focus in mind. The Innovation Tower is home to some of our design studio spaces for engineering and iBiomed students. These design studios are equipped with 3D printers, workspaces focused on collaboration, and other technologies to support innovation and design coursework. Here we have the Information Technology Building, where you can find lecture halls of all sizes, tutorial rooms, and research spaces. Let's take a look inside. Some of our research spaces in ITB include the Drone Lab and the Motion Simulator Lab. However, research can be done in many of the departments across campus, which can be counted towards your COPE experience. McMaster has a well-established reputation as being one of Canada's most research-intensive faculties in a range of disciplines from advanced manufacturing, materials, automotive, and nuclear research. We continue to push the boundaries discovering in emerging areas such as bioinnovation, micro nanotechnology, smart systems, energy, and environmental sustainability. Here we have the Engineering Technology Building, home to many different students and staff from all of our MacEng undergrad programs, as well as the Center for Research in Micro and Nano Systems. ETB houses many engineering lab spaces and tutorial rooms, including the Elliptical Lab, Electrical Engineering Lab, Biohazard Lab, Learning Factory, and Automation Lab. 
Our next stop is the SD Thold Library. Let's head on in to check it out. There are a number of libraries on campus and you're welcome to utilize any of them. However, Thold is a dedicated engineering and science library due to the resources available to students in those subject areas, including books, papers, softwares and more. The building has three areas of focus for different types of students and their studying preferences. The first floor is focused on group work with space to collaborate together. On the second floor, you may see more solo work, but conversations are still allowed. While the basement level is a silent student area, you also have the opportunity to book out study rooms by yourself or with your peers. In the basement of Thord, you can also find the Makerspace, a collaboration with the Ford, which is created to allow all McMaster students to pursue personal or school projects with the available equipment, including sewing machines, 3D printers, shop tools, soldering, laser cutting, and more. The last stop of our tour is the John Hodgins Engineering Building, the first engineering building built and an iconic part of our community. It hosts various labs, lecture halls, departments, student spaces, and is home to our very own Iron Ring. The Iron Ring is given to students who have graduated from an accredited engineering program at a Canadian university. The story of the ring comes from a collapsed bridge in 1907 in Quebec, which fell because engineers prioritized cost over safety. The ring today serves as a reminder of the obligation to live by a high standard of professional conduct. Thanks for coming along with us today. Our Mac and Stu highlighted the facilities and spaces for students joining the Faculty of Engineering. But of course, there will be plenty of opportunities for you to explore campus through residence, your academics, social activities and more. Thank you so much for coming on a tour with us. Our Fireball family welcomes you and we can't wait to see you very soon on our campus.